This first technique is using a straight edge or a ruler and just basically tearing along the ruler edge. You can pull away and towards the ruler to get an uneven and you can go all the way around the square or your edges. to um, be able to make a really neat um, tornage frame. And here you have basic torn hitches. The second technique is to use straight edge scissors. Open them up and use the uh, inside of one of the blades and in one direction uh, just sh um, shaving off the edge. Um, a light uh, movement against the edge will give you uh, a light edge and then around the corner you hold as close as you can to the edge so that your paper doesn't get torn and then you continue around the edge. And there is our first technique. The next technique is using a decorative edge. Uh, today I'm going to be using a um, zigzag scissor. I'll go ahead and cut the edge off of one side here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you'll go back to your straight edge scissors and gently uh, start fraying those. Edges. You'll see a little bit of a pattern, but it does give you more depth or more texture. The third technique is also using your decorative scissors. Now this time we're actually going to use them um, the same way we used our straight edge. And this time you're just going to, it sounds like a saw, but you're just going to use that to give yourself an edge. This, our texture, this does give you, um, more cut looking, um, more cut looking edge. Our third technique is using a purchased edge scraping tool. They come in different sizes and different shapes, but it's all basically the same. There is a, a tiny straight sharp edge encased in uh, something that helps you, you know, easier to hold. And this, since it is a, um, a beveled edge on both sides of the tool, you can go backwards and forwards with it, and it really goes quickly. This is the top one here. Blue one is a straight edged scissors and the orange one is our tool. This last technique I will be using the straight edge scissors for um, 
distressing on one side of the straight edge of the paper and then also the decorative scissors on the other side to show you uh, what it looks like when you um, use water to soften up the fibers of the paper. I'm using an aqua pen, but you can use water and a paintbrush or um, a sponge filled with some water. I'm going to get one edge wet since this is a thick card stock. I'm going to flip it over and do the back side. And since this does make the fibers um, weak, you'll want to not be as aggressive as you were with the dry paper edge. And this is going to let you bend the paper as well where you hadn't before with the dry edge. Um, which also gives it a li little bit more texture, worn look. And when that dries, that's what that's going to look like. Now I'm going to flip this over and use my decorative scissors and give us a uh, a head start in our texture. I'm going to go back with my aqua pen or water and get that wet. Flip it over and get the other side again because it's thick cardstock. I'm going to go back to my straight edge scissors and just start distressing again. And if it doesn't get wet enough, just apply some more. Corners are tricky. And that is the decorative edge. The last thing that I want to show you today is if you're using paper that happens to be uh, thin, thinner than cardstock, uh, you'll want to give it some support. And what I've done is just made some uh, chipboard the same size, but really it just needs to have the same straight edge as all the others um, that you're getting ready to distress. And that just gives it that support that, it, that you need. You can still be as, just as aggressive on this paper as you would the thicker cardstock, but it does not um, tear it up. And you can reuse your chipboard over and over again. And if I want to give just a little bit more tear, um, I'll go back in there and then just kind of distress that a little bit on the edge. Um, you can bend that up and um, just give it some good texture. And that is the um, distressing with thin paper.